Hello and welcome to Flare for Pros. Today we're going to learn about the system requirements and settings for the secondary heat feature of the Puck Pro. Let's take a look at system requirements first. Every system that uses a Puck Pro as an integrated control needs at least one mini split capable of heating and a Wi Fi connected smart thermostat to control the secondary heating system. Flare supports all Wi Fi connected Ecobee and Honeywell smart thermostats. For job specification, you'll need one Puck Pro per indoor mini split head unit, and all Pucks in the system must be Puck Pros. Let's take a look at the flare up settings. We'll review these in the demo at the end of the video. In the Flare app, Flare mode needs to be set to Heat, Flare set point controller set to Flare app, and the Smart Thermostat system capabilities set to Heat. Each room with mini splits must be assigned to both mini split and Smart Thermostat zones. Let's look at secondary heat settings. I'll show you how to configure these in the demo at the end of the video. Flare offers two options for secondary heat, supplemental heat and cutover. With supplemental heat, mini splits stay on and Flare will turn on and off secondary heat based on the outside temperature. With cutover, Flare will switch between mini split heat and secondary heat again based on outside temperature. Let's look at cutover heat settings in detail. The cutover temperature is when Flare turns off mini split heat and turns on secondary heat. The cutback temperature is when flare turns on mini split heat and turns off secondary heat. The primary heat cutoff delay is the amount of time before turning off mini splits. This is adjustable in 5 degree increments. Let's look at supplemental heat settings in detail. The enable supplemental heat temperature is when flare turns on secondary heat and the disable supplemental heat temperature is when flare turns off secondary heat. Remember, mini splits will remain on. Now we'll start the Flare app demo. I'll show you how to configure settings and test secondary heat. Here's a Flare home with three rooms. Two of the rooms contain Puck Pros controlling mini splits. The third room contains a smart thermostat. We've integrated a Honeywell. Puck Pros communicate with mini splits using IR. Flare communicates with the smart thermostat over Wi Fi. We'll set the room with the thermostat to inactive. This will prevent Flare from using the temperature readings in the whole home average. Now we'll make sure that the mode is set to heat. Mode needs to be set to heat for secondary heat testing. Now we'll configure some settings in the Flare app menu. Go to Home Settings and then System Settings. And here you'll find Set Point Controller. This needs to be set to Flare App so that Flare can control the thermostat. Next, let's go to Thermostats and expand the thermostat. And here we'll set System Capabilities to Heat. Now we'll look at the room zoning. Tap the three dot menu on the room and select settings. Then go to room info. You'll see that this room is in both the mini split and the thermostat zone. Let's go check the other room. Tap the three dot menu and then go to settings and then room info. And again, you'll see that this room is in its mini split zone and the thermostat zone. Now let's test secondary heat. Look up in the control bar at the weather. In this demo, it's 77 degrees outside. Go into the flare menu, home settings, and then thermostat. Expand the thermostat and click the secondary heat setting. For this demo, we'll choose cutover. We'll change the cutover temperature to be a little bit higher than our outside temperature. And then we'll change the cutback temperature to about 3 degrees above that. Now we'll go back to the home screen and take a look at the mini splits. We can see that they've turned off 
which is what we expect, and the secondary heat reasons are visible. If we go into the room with the thermostat, we'll see that it's turned on and in heat mode. Now let's test cutback. Again, go into Home Settings, Thermostats, and expand the thermostat. Then change the cutback temperature to be just below the outside temperature. Then change the cutover temperature to be about three degrees below that. Now we'll go back to the home screen and we'll see that the mini splits have turned back on again. And the thermostat has turned off. And this is what we expect. When you're done testing, you can go back and change the cutover and cutback temperatures based on the mini splits rating. Home settings, thermostat, expand the thermostat, and for this example, I'll change it back to 35 and about 40. Okay, let's go back to the home screen. If your mini splits are capable of cooling, you can change the mode to auto heat cool. Flare will intelligently switch between heating and cooling. And when flare is in cool mode, it will only run systems that are capable of cooling. This is why we change the system capabilities of the thermostat to heat only. Let's look at some additional information for secondary heat testing. Flare Puck Pro communicates with mini splits using infrared signals. So mini splits must be in line of sight and within 15 feet of the IR receiver. When testing secondary heat functions, perform tests 15 minutes apart to give heat systems time to cycle. If the room is already up to temperature and heat sources do not come on right away, try bumping the set point in Flare. Flare communicates with smart thermostats over Wi-Fi every five minutes, so allow some time for thermostat set point changes. Flare Puck Pro will send set point changes to mini splits in under 60 seconds. Now I'll show you how to transfer a flare home. When you've completed setup and testing, you want to transfer the flare home to the homeowner. Go into the flare menu, tap home settings, and then users. Enter the homeowner's email address. Select transfer the home, and then tap to send. This will send an email to the homeowner. They'll be able to download the flare app, create an account, and then accept the invitation. Getting support is easy. Email us at pros at flare.co or visit our knowledge base at flare.co slash support. Sign up for a Flare Pro account at flare.co slash register to get access to pro pricing and the pro support number. Thanks for watching.